Should preamps have a sound? Well, I hope so, because all these preamps that we sell better make some sound. <laughs> I guess that's not what he meant. All right. This question comes from Bob in Stonehen, Massachusetts. Apart from the phono stage, if present, a preamplifier would seem merely to transfer a line level audio signal from a music source to a power amplifier, perhaps with attenuation, volume control, perhaps with buffering. This seems basically a switch, yet I often hear the sound of a preamplifier being discussed in the same terms as that of a loudspeaker. Isn't the object of a preamplifier to pass as faithfully as possible the output of a music source? a DAC, a CD player, streamer, etc., to the power amplifier? And if so, why the sound of the preamplifier? Thank you, Sensei Bob. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bob. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. It's funny, though. It's the same job that a speaker has. We tend to accept the fact that all speakers sound different, right? They are so gross in their ability to be flat that we just sort of accept it, right? It's like, well, I understand that a speaker, you know, it, of course, all speakers sound different. Well, they're not supposed to. If they were perfect, all speakers would sound the same. And in the same light, yes, a preamp in essence, is little more than an input, a switch to select one of the inputs, a way to turn the volume up and down, and a way to get the sound to the power amplifier. Absolutely. And as designers, we work our ever-loving tails off to do exactly that. This, this preamp, this, this BHK, this, oh, it's one of my favorite pieces that we make, bar none. This, this preamplifier is killer. What makes it killer? What, what, why would people spend $6,000 on this preamp with vacuum tubes and all the parts and the, and, and why would we do all of that if it's nothing more than just a simple switch of a volume control and, and, a, and, a, and a jack? Why would we do that? Well, sad to say, we would do that in an attempt to get as close to what Bob feels should be the ideal. And Bob's right. That ideal of not being there is really hard to get to. It's equally hard in a speaker. We have more success in a preamplifier because Electronics have an easier time of being flat, of controlling distortion, of working with feedback levels and all the things that make it sound the way it does. Let me, let me see if I can't muddle the situation up <laughs> even further. Years ago, when Stan and I first started the company, we made a preamp for ourselves. And what was it? Well, it was very close to what Bob had suggested. It was a pair of jacks, a pair of RCA jacks, a pot, and another pair of RCA jacks that were the output. So you had input, a pot of potentiometer, volume control, and a set of outputs. And that was it. It was our pots in a box. There wasn't even an input selector. We didn't even have multiple inputs. You just plug something in, turn the pot up and down, volume went up and down. Didn't take us very long before we realized that that pot and those connectors, again, doesn't get any simpler than that, had a sound to it. And it did something to what we were listening to. How do we know that? That was really simple. We took the output of our phono preamplifier, which is what we were using at the time, and we put it directly into the power amplifier, playing a very soft uh, piece of music and we listened to it straight without this volume control in the mix. And then we turned the volume control all the way up so that it had no attenuation and put the box in. The levels were identical, but the sound was not, not at all. So everything you put into the signal path is gonna have an effect on the sound. It's just the way it is. So 
over time, we've learned that, you know, part of the problem with that, that pot is uh, impedance, right? So feeding a power amplifier, you want a low impedance coming out of this preamp. Well, a pot doesn't have that. A pot's impedance varies up and down, and it's, you know, it, it, the, the lowest impedance you're going to have on that pot is when it's turned all the way up, and you still have some impedance, the cables, all that stuff matters. So we go to great lengths to try and make the preamp sound like nothing. So interesting stuff. Great question. Thank you, Bob. Talk to everybody tomorrow. All right. Bye.